You know, when I'm running around the world of Nora, I ask a lot of questions. Why can't Faye fly? Why did the moon explode? Why are all Erudites complete backstabbing bitches? Nothing against Erudites, though. Now, I know some of you are going to be like, Tessa, who cares? We gotta go kill everything to get the big loot and PvP. And that's all fine and good. But you see, I'm what's known as a filthy, disgusting, casual war master. And I have to know these things. So today, I'm going to explore the oceans and dive deep into something that's always interested me in the world of Nora. And I'm not talking about crabs. I'm not talking about sharks. Heck, I'm not even talking about fish. Today, we're going to learn about sirens. The sirens are beautiful creatures of the aquatic realm. Humanoids with beautiful fish scales covering the majority of their bodies. The sirens hail from an undiscovered underwater city in the depths of an unknown ocean. Okay. Long thought to exist as a race of women, they do have menfolk, but the women are more outgoing of the sexes. They are the keepers of the secrets of the oceans, having existed for as long as the elven races. Now, if we want to know more about these beautiful fish ladies, we're going to have to slaughter them. It is an MMO after all. After killing tons of sirens, you will eventually complete their lore and legend quest, which gives you a cool book. A book of lore. And in the book, here's what it says. Studying sirens can be very dangerous. Their songs can lull the most hardened adventurer to his doom. Instead of studying actual sirens in the Norathian waters, pussies, these lovelies are instead represented by the song of one of the most celebrated bards of her time. The Siren Song, as sung by Serena Melosine, bard of Kinos Harbor. Sing with me songs from days gone by. Sing of the men who have passed our way, our song they cannot deny. Though I am bound to the sea, and I mean not to lead them astray, many are men who come to me. All along the shores I sing, through the night and into day, touching the mariner's heartstring. My long hair is green as soft as sea foam, as soft as the ocean spray. My melody follows the men as they roam. Do you hear the song of the sea? from aboard your ship as it sways? Do you feel the need to fall in love with me? I am a siren, sisters are we. Come to us, come to us and stay. The siren song will set you free. Join with me now in Prexus's depths. Nothing but water can come between us. I promise you a boundless joy. Sing with me, mariner. A soft song that flows like time across Norath's seaway. The call of the siren can be so strong. The mariners last not, they never remain. And soon their cold flesh turns to gray. We sirens begin again our refrain. Sing with me songs from days gone by. Sing of the men who have passed our way. Our song they cannot deny. Okay, so we have learned that they're beautiful sea ladies who are probably created by Prexus, and they are so dangerous they couldn't even be studied for their own lore book. I need more. Exploring Norath, I came into Zek, the Orcish Waste. This land was once the verdant jagged pine forest from EverQuest 1. No longer though. The Deathfist Orcs have largely deforested it and built a massive fortress for their emperor. While the forest's remaining denizens have become twisted and hostile. Trents are getting cut down. Death is everywhere. It's pretty sad. The remaining fey creatures, which sirens are considered fey by the way, do what they can to protect what little untouched forest they have left from the disgusting orcs. Man, I hate orcs. 
Now, throughout the zone, you can find these journal pages, which belong to a druid here in Zek. And he talks about meeting these strange women who are living on an island to the south. Here's what it says. Jerb Northstar's Journal. This book is a journal that was kept by a druid who lived within a deeply forested land and investigated some new visitors that came to live within his forest. Entry 38. I have spoken with Lefpaw, and he told me that there are visitors within the pines, though he was interested in the salmon. In between mouthfuls, he told me that I would find them down by the shore. I may wish to see who these guests are and what intentions they have. Entry 43. I have seen our visitors from afar. I cannot tell for certain what they have planned, but it looks as if our guests may be staying for a while to come. I believe I shall introduce myself to these women so that they know the glade and the pines are already being looked after. Entry 46. I am very uncertain about why these women have come to our trees. Though they claim they are refugees, I could tell there was something unspoken between them whenever they would talk. The most mysterious was the one who appeared to be their leader. I will record my findings and bring this to the circle. Perhaps their wisdom may better know what to do. Aralia Clearsong appears to be the leader of this group of women. She is the one who introduced each of her fellows and explained why they were here in Jagged Pine. She said they would take refuge on the small island for the time being and leave it as it was when they were done. She refused to say what it was they were doing, however. Andrea introduced herself as a Templar. I was unfamiliar with them, but she assured me it was just a word her people used to describe those who held faith within their hearts. I was unable to get her to tell me what god she worshipped, which draws my suspicion. Abella claimed to be a sorcerer. She explained that she drew energies from the surrounding air and crafted them into other forms. I am unfamiliar with the workings of magic that comes not from nature, so much of what she said meant nothing to me. Alexis described herself as a soothe. When I asked her what that meant, she told me I would surely find out one day. I took her for being one of the rudest of the group. Anessa called herself a thaumaturge. She started to explain what it was, but was interrupted by Aralia, who had questions for me. When I answered and asked Anessa to continue, she told me I would not find it interesting, but I am no fool. I know Aralia gave Anessa a signal to hold her silence. Abigail said that she was a mystic. She told me how she could see those who were trapped between the worlds of life and death. Telling her that I did not believe in such nonsense, I felt a wind pick up around my hair. I am sure that it was nothing more than a mere coincidence. Anathema was the last one I spoke with, and she in turn aroused my suspicion the most. She told me she was a protector, but when I asked of what, she just looked to Aralia. I stood between the two, blocking visual contact, and that was when I could see the tears begin to well up in her eyes. I am certain there is more going on than meets the eye to these women. If you go to this island, you will see the women mentioned in this book are all sirens. But wait! Don't go killing them just yet. There's a quest. The game is called EverQuest, after all. Killing mobs throughout the zone, preferably orcs because they fucking suck, will drop a lump of coal that gives you a vision. I have received a vision of a ring of stones. In the vision, I brought this worthless object to the center of the rings and touched one of the great stones. I'm not too sure what it meant, but it might be worth my time to investigate this vision. Now, we know from exploring that this ring of stones is for sure the druid ring, which is still standing and being defended by the remaining fairies. They are so cute. 
When you go to the stones, you can examine the little lump of coal in your inventory and you'll get an update. I've touched the druid ring stones and I've received a clearer vision from the ancient ring of stones. What I believed was a worthless object appears to be some type of relic. My vision showed the relic glowing, but only after I had taken the necessary steps to recharge it with its lost power. Now this is where it gets interesting. The quest says in order to recharge this stone, which is clearly a piece of this druid ring, you have to slay all of the Aralian sirens and absorb their power. Going back to the journal we found where the druid met these women and clearly suspected they were up to something. And now we know they had something to do with harming the druid ring. Yeah, sirens are definitely bad, but not as bad as warps. Or erudites for that matter. Going back to the island and slaying the sirens will spawn a named siren at the top. And it's none other than Aralia Clearsong, who we know from the journal that she is the leader of this group. Killing her is not part of the quest, but might as well do it anyway. After you kill the sirens, you'll get a quest update. I have charged this relic with some type of unknown power. I believe I have removed some type of corruption that prevented it from realizing its true potential. The fact that it says you removed the corruption from the stone makes it even more clear that these sirens, they or not, were only here to do harm. Oh, and if you notice by Aurelia, there's a bloody corpse, which is probably the druid whose journal we read. Then you can return the stone to the druid ring and the quest will complete. I have brought the relic back to the ring of stones and laid it where my vision showed me. A moment later, I spied something glittering on the ground. I believe I have cleansed one of the stones in the ancient druid ring. When I laid the emblem within the ring, I spied a glittering object, which I believe was a thank you from the stones. Fairies are so cute. So that was a cool little storyline involving sirens that I discovered in Zek, but there's more. In Thundering Steps off the west coast, you can find, you guessed it, sirens. But unlike Zek, this looks more like an established home for them. Swimming down into the ocean, you will find a temple surrounded by sirens. I explored the area a lot and there were sirens in groups all throughout, but I couldn't find any quests for them. I did notice that if you kill a large amount of sirens at this temple, a special named siren will spawn called the Sister of Sorrow. But only an evil person would want to go and do that. Basically, sirens are pretty sea ladies who are considered fey but totally evil and not much is known about them due to them being very dangerous and secretive. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about sirens. My thirst for lore has been quenched for now. I'm really in the mood for some red lobster now, so that's what I'm about to go eat. Bye!